<laughs> I'm not sure if this is the wisest decision we've ever made, <laughs> but here we go anyways. Guys, today we're actually gonna be scouting out, uh, Daniel and I are actually scouting out a new location here for an upcoming show that we're getting ready to shoot. And we're actually looking for specific species of shark and sizes that we can catch uh, for an aquarium that we're gonna be helping uh, procure some species for their displays. But we are already surrounded by three or four kind of mid-sized lemon sharks that probably, <laughs> if you see the camera shaking, it's our camera guy and he's probably a little bit nervous right now because they're swimming all around us right now. But look at these beautiful flats around us. I'm like, you have these sand flats here that, oh, this is gonna be some really cool footage. We can't wait for you guys to see <laughs> this one. Notice who I have carrying the chum. <laughs> And I keep my distance. Look, we gotta practice social distancing out here, Daniel. We can't be standing too close together. <laughs> Look, right here. <laughs> I'm about to come bite my foot off. <laughs> There's literally sharks right here in the water. Oh, let's get to some shallower water so we can see these guys come up here. Come on. Look at right here. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at right here at the end of my fly rod. Here we go, another one. <laughs> Look at there's another one. I don't know if we're so smart. Leave a comment down below if you think we're gonna get eaten before the end of the show. This is actually probably the funnest way I have ever shark fished, is actually being able to get out onto these shallow water flats. Oh, we got a new one coming in here. And actually see them so clearly and you're actually in the environment with them. It is just super cool. Oh, look at this big one we got going back there. Look at that one. You turn around on it, get yep. ready. Here he comes, here he comes. And, oh, <laughs> and we are on, baby. <laughs> just like that. Look at him running right across. The, look at the shadows cutting here. I just had the most terrifying thought. We actually have to get this thing off of the hook here soon. Daniel, would you like to take this? <laughs> you want to fight this thing to completion? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, oh. So we're looking for... Aquariums always have a certain size limit and species that they're looking for. And we got a couple fish on order here right now that they're looking for. One of them is just a bonnet head shark. It's a very small shark, a whole lot less dangerous than this one right here, which is a lemon shark that's swimming right by my camera guy's feet. But um, I was just at an aquarium the other day in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I got to see in their shark tank, they have bull sharks in it, fifth generation sharks that were probably caught out of my father's boat and they're fifth generation. Um, but these sharks will breed in captivity and these aquariums spend an enormous amount of money to keep them healthy and happy. And uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Did he just steal yeah, it from right. you? Yeah. Oh, okay, hand it here. This is the trickiest part right here. This is where you're about to see me maybe get bit. And I hope I don't because I really don't need stitches today. There we go. Ah, he destroyed my fly. There's like no, he cut all the feathers off of it. I need to tie a new fly on real quick. <laughs> yes, yes. Which one is that? That's the big one of the bigger ones, right or no? I don't know, but you, I can see the shadow back there. Dead. We literally have a cut up bonita for chum sitting right here at our ankles and sharks coming in from every angle. So the whole time that we're fishing, every time we're hooked up, we're kind of just circling, looking for these sharks to come in on us because um, it's kind of an offensive defensive game here. You're trying to catch them, but you're also trying to make sure they don't come up because you know, these sharks, they're not here looking for people to eat. They're looking for what's what the smell is. And sometimes if you get a bite, it'll be a quick reactionary bite and it's enough to really do some serious damage. So you really don't want to get bit, obviously. This is a lemon shark here. Really pretty shark. Lemon sharks um, are all over the flats here. This ecosystem is full of animals that they feed on. We have stingrays and all kinds of things. Oftentimes when you'll get the bigger lemons up uh, or bulls, um, you'll see black marks all over their face. And uh, one day I finally learned what that was when, when my dad told me, but it's from eating stingrays. And they, when they're eating stingrays, the barbs will come up and stick them in the mouth as they're eating them and leave these black barb marks all over their face. But 
it is a really neat environment. And these sharks here, when they're up on the flats, they are very, very skittish. They're not here just dominating and owning the place. They feel like prey just like any of these other fish do. Um, and they will run just like a permit or a tarpon will if you spook them, so. These guys really are opportunists, um, but they are prey as well when they're on the flats here because bigger sharks will eat them in a heartbeat. Um, so they're just always on the watch out here, but look at the colors on this thing. What a beautiful fish. This one here, you can see the little remora, uh, those little fish that stick to them. He's got a little remora here. So this is a lemon shark and it's actually a female. You can tell if I can roll her over without her trying to bite me here, you can tell by the, what's normally here on a male, it's two what's called claspers. Um, it's, a, it's a reproductive organ uh, for a male shark that's not on this one. It's just, she just has the fins here and the opening there. But um, one of the easiest ways to tell a lemon shark from bull sharks uh, when you're looking out, and most people think, well, they're lemon colored, they're light brown or whatever. That's not always the case. Sometimes they're very similar in color, but the biggest dead giveaway is the, real, the rear dorsal fin and the front dorsal are almost the same size. And on a bull shark, it's a little nub here. It's very, very small. And so from a distance, that's what I'm always looking for to identify that shark. But just wanna show you when you can lift her out of the water here, just what this shark looks like in its full body size. She's being very docile and letting me hold it here. But um, just a beautiful animal supremely designed for feeding on these flats. And uh, when you see them in this environment, you actually have a lot of respect for these animals. And they're a great, great sport fish. Daniel, go ahead and get that hook out. We'll get her off nice and, nice and easy here, unharmed. So these sharks, these lemon sharks, actually have to swim forward uh, to keep their energy up. If you don't, they actually drown. And so, the whole time I'm holding her still like this, she's actually losing energy and technically suffocating. They're, they don't, they can't breathe on uh, um, pump water through the gills without moving for the most part. They're always swimming forward. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and let her go before she gets too hot, tired here because she'll fall prey to bigger sharks if we're not careful. And uh, she's definitely not so low on energy that she's not a threat to me. So <laughs> here we go. All right, guys. We are almost out of time here. The tide is falling so fast right now that I'm actually worried about not having enough water here to get the boat out of this channel here that we got it in. Um, guys, we are so incredibly thankful for you guys spending the time that you guys do watching our shows. We really hope that you guys continue to follow us as these shows um, develop and as we get moving here. We're really working hard to, to make some, some really cool ideas come to life here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring that little bell so you get the alerts when we actually drop. Guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much.